Hi, I'm Wayne Allen Root for Personal Liberty. Someone's getting very nervous. Barack Obama, Valerie Jarrett, Eric Holder, Hillary Clinton, John Corzine, to name a few, and I know why. I wrote a book called The Murder of the Middle Class about the unholy conspiracy and alliance between big government, big business, and big media. They all benefit by the billions from this partnership, and it's in all of their interest to protect one another. It's one for all and all for one. It's one heck of a filthy relationship that makes everyone filthy rich. Everyone except the American people. We get ripped off. We're the targets. We're the patsies. But for once, the powerful socialist cabal and the corrupt crony capitalists are scared. I've never seen him this outraged, this vicious, this motivated, this crazed, this coordinated. Never in all my years in politics, and I've been watching politics for over 30 years, have I seen anything like the way the mad dogs of hell have been unleashed on Donald Trump. When white extremist David Duke ran for governor of Louisiana, even he wasn't treated with this kind of outrage, vitriol, and disrespect. When a known fraud, scam artist, and tax cheat like Al Sharpton ran for president, I never saw anything remotely close to this. The over-the-top reaction to Donald Trump by politicians of both parties and the media and the biggest corporations in America has been so swift and insanely angry that it suggests they're all threatened and frightened like never before. Why? Because David Duke was never going to win. We all knew that. Al Sharpton was never going to win. Ron Paul was never going to win. Ross Perot was never going to win as a third-party candidate. None of those candidates had the billion dollars it takes, by the way, to win the presidency with the exception of Perot, and he was a third partier. But Donald Trump could self-fund that amount tomorrow and still have another billion left over to pour into the last two-week stretch before Election Day. No matter how much they say to the contrary, the media, business elites, and political elites understand that Donald Trump is no joke and could actually win and upset their cozy little apple cart. It's no coincidence that everyone has gotten together to destroy the Donald. No, this is a coordinated conspiracy led by one man, Barack Obama. Obama himself is making the phone calls and giving the orders, the ultimate intimidator who plays by the rules of Chicago thug politics. And why is this so important to Obama? Because most of the other politicians, if not all of them, are part of the old boys club. They talk big, but in the end, they won't change a thing. Why? Because they're all beholden to big money donors. They're all owned by lobbyists, unions, lawyers, gigantic environmental organizations, multinational corporations like Big Pharma or Big Oil, or they're owned lock, stock, and barrel by foreigners like George Soros owns Obama or foreign governments own Hillary Clinton with their Clinton Foundation donations. These run-of-the-mill establishment politicians are all puppets owned by big money. But one man, and only one man, isn't beholden to anyone. One man doesn't need foreigners or foreign governments or foreign money or George Soros or the United Auto Workers Union or the Teachers Union or the SEIU or the Bar Association to fund his presidential campaign. Billionaire tycoon and maverick Donald Trump doesn't need anyone. That means he doesn't care what the media says or does. He doesn't care what the corporate elites think. That makes him dangerous to the entrenched interests. That makes Trump a huge threat. Trump can ruin everything for the bribe politicians and their spoiled slave masters. Don't you ever wonder why the GOP has never tried to impeach Obama? Don't you wonder why Boehner and McConnell talk a big game but never actually try to stop Obama? <clears throat> Don't you wonder why Congress holds the purse strings yet they've never tried to defund Obamacare or Obama's clearly illegal executive action on amnesty for illegal aliens? Bizarre, right? It defies logic. Well, first, I guess many key Republicans are being bribed. Secondly, I believe many key Republicans are being blackmailed. Whether they're having affairs or secretly gay or stealing taxpayer money, the NSA knows all. The NSA knows everything. And former House Speaker Dennis Hastert knows all about that. The government even knew that Dennis Hastert was withdrawing large sums of his own money from his own bank account. Trust me, the NSA, the SEC, the IRS, and all the other three-letter government agencies are watching every Republican political leader. They know everything. Thirdly, many Republicans are petrified of being called racist, so they're scared to death to ever criticize Obama or call out his crimes, let alone demand his impeachment. And fourth, why rock the boat? After defeat or retirement, if you're a good old boy, you got a $5 million per year lobbying job just waiting. The big money interests have the system gamed. Win or lose, they win and you lose. But Donald Trump doesn't play by those rules. Donald Trump doesn't play that game. Trump breaks up this nice, cozy relationship between big government, big media, and big business. 
All the rules are out the window if Donald wins the presidency. The other politicians will protect Obama and his aides, but not Donald. Remember, Trump is the guy who publicly questioned Obama's birth certificate. He questioned Obama's college records and how a mediocre student got into an Ivy League university with those crappy grades and mediocre record. Now he's doing something no Republican has the chutzpah to do. Question our relationship with Mexico. Question why the border's wide open. Question why no wall has been built across the border. Questioning if allowing millions of illegal aliens into America who almost all want food stamps and all kinds of other entitlement checks is in our best interests. Questioning why so many illegal aliens commit violent crimes yet are not deported. Questioning why our trade deals with Mexico, Russia, and China are so pathetically bad. Donald Trump actually has the audacity to ask out loud why American workers always get the short end of the stick. Good question. I'm certain Trump will question what happened to the almost billion dollars given in a rigged no-bid contract to college friends of Michelle Obama at foreign companies to build an effective Obamacare websites. And by the way, that tab has now risen to $5 billion for some websites that don't work. Trump will ask if Obamacare's architects can be charged with fraud for selling it by lying. He will ask if Obama himself committed fraud when he said if you like your health care plan, you could keep it. And at that moment, he knew that was a lie. Trump will investigate Obama's widespread IRS conspiracy, not to mention Obama's college records. Trump will prosecute Hillary Clinton and Obama for fraud committed to cover up Benghazi before the election. How about the fraud committed by employees of the Labor Department when they made up out of thin air dramatic job increases in the last jobs report before the 2012 election so Obama could win the election based on a lie? Obama, the multinational corporations and the media need to stop this. They recognize this can get out of control. If left unchecked, telling the raw truth and asking questions everyone else is afraid to ask, Donald could wake a sleeping giant, the American people. Trump's election would be a nightmare. Obama has committed numerous crimes. No one else but Donald would dare to prosecute. Donald Trump will not hesitate. Once Donald gets in and gets a look at the cooked books and Obama's records, the game is over. The jig is up. The goose is cooked. Eric Holder could wind up behind bars. Valerie Jarrett could wind up behind bars. Obama bundler John Corzine could wind up in prison for losing $1.5 billion of customer money. Hillary Clinton could wind up in jail for deleting 32,000 emails or accepting bribes from foreign governments while Secretary of State or for misplacing $6 billion as head of state or for lying about Benghazi. The entire upper-level management of the IRS could wind up behind bars. Obamacare will be defunded and dismantled. The Obama crime family will be prosecuted for crimes against the American people. And Obama himself could wind up ruined his legacy in tatters. Trump will investigate, Trump will prosecute, Trump will go after everyone involved just for fun. And that will all happen on Trump's first day in the White House. Who knows what Donald will do on day number two. That's why the dogs of hell have been unleashed on Donald Trump. I'm Wayne Allyn for Personal Liberty. See you next week. God bless America.